Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. All right, man. All right, let's talk about this debate last night. Uh, Kamala Harris and your boy Mike Pence debated last night. Before we get into that, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Notification bell. If you want to be notified, hit that thumbs up. You know, and donate to the Cash App or the PayPal if you feel. If not, best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe. All right, man. Overall, great debate, man. I'm just going to put it out there. It was a good debate. Overall, a good debate. I do believe that Mike Pence did make her look uncomfortable. And it's one thing I'm going to say about this. Let's get into Kamala real quick. Or Kamala. Miss Harris, I'm just going to say. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about Miss Harris. And I'm going to say this. She's really not a good debater. But she did what she could. And she had a couple of key talking points. The problem with her style of debating is it's old school, old school fact. Uh, this is a fact or fear mongering. This is what happening. And, and so that was on your watch. And, and I get it. I get it. I get that you can make that argument if, if you feel that. It's Trump's fault. But see, you can't really say that about a lot of issues, especially with the first topic. And I'm not going to go through all the topics because I don't remember off the top of my head. But the first topic, the coronavirus topic. And I do. And I want to say this about the moderator. I don't remember her name, but I want to say this about the moderator. Um, When it came to questions for Pence, it was a lot of it was a lot of gotcha questions. It was a lot of those questions that was like, like the any way you answer is kind of wrong. Either way, it don't matter how you answer the question. You're going to be kind of wrong either way. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, how do you feel if she would ask Mike Pence, how do you feel in this type of questions that they ask? How do you feel about Black Lives Matter? Right now, knowing that. The organization, he probably don't support, but it's attached to black lives. So if he says, oh, well, black, he has to say black lives matter is important. He has to say that. He has to. But those are the type of questions that I believe that a lot of these moderators ask the Republicans or Trump administration. Anyway, so Kamala Harris, um, try to really pin a lot of things on Trump. And she said a lot of stuff last night that wasn't true, and she lied a lot. Now, I'm not going to say Pence didn't lie, but I am going to say Kamala completely lied. It wasn't like, oh, uh, that part was okay, or that part is kind of a lie. No. The fracking thing, she clearly said, that she don't support it. Clearly said that. Then she came out and said that she's not going to do it. But she, they have her on tape saying that. She was asked that during, a, I think during, during a, 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 a debate or whatever. Same thing with Joe Biden. He did the same thing when he went against Trump. He said that he wasn't going to do it. And they got him on tape saying that. Now, I know politicians do that a lot. Now they do. The thing about her, and then all of a sudden, she goes into the race thing, which really bothers me when when people do this. Stop using black people as your excuse to try to win an argument. Because none of you politicians, none of you celebrities, none of y'all are actually in a position to talk to me about the struggles that I'm going through because, and this might be a little bit off topic, but I seen Michelle Obama. She said, she did a whole thing. And she said about how Trump is going to, uh, 
Trump's telling people that they can't move to the suburbs and how the suburbs uh, uh, it's off limits. If you if you live in the inner cities, you won't be able to come to the suburbs and other stuff. He's trying to block y'all. First of all, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, uh, all of y'all who do this stupid ass virtual signal need to stop because you live in the suburbs, and I guarantee you, you don't want a housing project next to where you live at. That was that would never happen. So you need to chill with that. That is, you need to stop. And I hate when. You get a lot of these people who have these these uh, uh, these ideologies where they use black people as something for uh, for their argument. And she ran straight to that, which I didn't think she was going to do. No, she did. Oh, let's talk about packing the court. Let's talk about packing the court. OK, yeah. Well, you do know that 52 judges that was appointed wasn't not one were black. OK, so let's ask ourselves that question. Right. Here's my thing. You talk about Donald Trump being racist, right? When your boy, Joe Biden, went clearly against Clarence Thomas. Clearly. So he, he's a black judge. And your boy that you run with did that. I don't understand why Mike Pence didn't bring that up. I don't understand for the life of me why he didn't bring that up. Because that's what I would have said to her. Like, oh, wait. So you telling me that... You you running with a dude. It's a lot of things that he could have said to her, but he didn't. He kind of, be honest with you, kind of let her live. But he could he could have brought up a lot of stuff. So anyway, uh, I hate when they do that. Now, certain things I think she touched on that really uh, hit home, like the Breonna Taylor thing. He totally dodged that. You know what I'm saying? He totally dodged those questions. But again, the question that was presented to him was like. He was being insensitive, but we'll get to that. Anyway, when you say stuff like, when you say stuff like, there's no justice for minorities in this country, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Maybe there's no justice for minorities that are considered criminals. That's my problem with people like uh, Kamala is they don't tell the full story. They tell a piece of it. And then another thing she did last night, she trying to link Trump to, to racism. Let's just stop that because number one, that was already debunked already. All that stuff was already, people already debunked that already. So you keep saying the same thing because you know that there are people out there who are not going to pay attention to what you're talking about. They're just going to automatically go along with it. That's the problem I have with her. That's the problem I have with her is they don't, she hasn't put, she only provides sound bites. She don't provide something that was actually like, okay, yeah, that right there. Um, he really did that. But all this stuff, you already know. It would have been cool if she said this. She said, hey, listen, I don't think Trump's a racist, but I do believe that he kind of supports it. And the reason why I say that is because he hesitates when he comes to that. If she would have said that, it would have been game over. If she would have said that. If she would have said something like that. But yet and still, the problem with these radical people like her, they automatically jump to one side. They don't realize that everybody ain't like you. And everybody, what's the name? You can't tell a man that he can't have supporters. They have every right to support him, just like every black person have a right to support you. You ain't no more racist than him when you tell them that white people are racist versus black people are racist. You ain't no more racist. You the same as him if you're saying he's racist. So let's just get that out the way. Then another thing she said that uh, she she doubt, the only dodged the, the question about packing the court, which I'm not gonna get into. She dodged that question. And that was, that was, what's the name? I don't understand. And it's a lot of things that I think that she could have did a little better. Now, overall, I think this debate was way better than Trump and, and uh, Trump and uh, 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 Biden. Way better. And I think that she held her own. If you really look at it, she did. She held her own. But overall, I think that genuinely, I, could, I didn't take anything away from her genuinely. You know, I think that from what I took away from her was that she had a bunch of talking points. And then I, and the one other thing that she brought up too 
And she brought up, uh, they talked about Breonna Taylor and she talked about George Floyd now. And Mike Pence did, he did, he did good on that, <laughs> I would say. But she talked about George Floyd and she talked, she kind of segued from Breonna Taylor because to be honest with you, I'm just going to be flat out honest. That wasn't the police fault. I'm just going to just say that. That wasn't the police fault. That, the Breonna Taylor thing, she got caught in a crossfire. And now they're saying that, that now her boyfriend or whoever is coming out saying that she was the one that shot at the cops first. So what are you supposed to do in a situation like that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, she got caught in a crossfire. So now as far as uh, 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 George Floyd goes, it's, uh, it's, it's an argument there that, that uh, you know, he died from he died from a drug overdose. And there's an argument there that he, what's the name? That he died from the, the knee on his neck. Now, visually, you see something like that, you automatically think that it's uh, what's the name? It's it, it's being it's it's a public lynching, if you not provided any context, but um, any context. But outside of that, that's the argument she went to. Now, Mike Pence. Well, before I get to Mike Pence, anyway. So Kamala, she kind of did her thing in a certain way, and I think that uh, she had some talking points, and she said some things, but. My, the problem with I think the Democratic Party and her and whoever represents her is they they do a lot of fear mongering and let's just be honest here if we were if if, if, if this is we, this country is going through a pandemic and when he said you need to stop pay, playing politics with people's lives that really hit home for me like it really did now as far as uh her goes when she says when she says the certain things that she say about she wouldn't take a drug that's approved by Trump. This is what this is exactly what I mean by by this type of uh, rhetoric in that these politicians do. And this is why I say this is why I like Trump so much because of the authenticity that he comes with. And they don't really come with authenticity. They come with talking points, and they come, they don't ca they don't care about American lives. They really don't. So her saying stuff like. She wouldn't take the drug if Trump approved it. First of all, you already know Trump's not approving the drug. So why would you even say that? Because you know what you're trying to do. You're trying to scare people and not to take the drug because you want people to die, more people to die so you can have a better talking point. See, look, so many people died on Trump's watch. Instead of her saying, this, this is what I would have said if I was her, I would have said, hey, listen, it's not Trump's fault that the coronavirus is here. It's really not. It's not his fault. To be honest with you, it's China's fault because that's where it came from. But it's his. But I would say this: the way he handled it wasn't good. This is how you debate, because what what Mike Pence had said, if you said that to him, but you automatically run to the other side and say, "Oh, all these people died under his watch." No, it doesn't work like that. And, and I'm smart enough, and I'm sure the hundred hundred thousand more people are smart enough to know that that's not how it happens. We all know that. The states run the states. Trump can't come in. He did exactly what he was told to do or asked to do. He provided all the uh, the PPE. He provided all the ventilators. He even sent them, he sent New York a ship. He sent them a ship that they didn't even use. Instead of them sending the, the patients back into the nursing homes, they could have sent them to the ship. And, he, and they didn't even do that. They built a whole uh, quarantine center. They didn't even use it. So for you to say that it's Trump's fault, you're going to catch a couple of people that's going to say that. But when people start, the, the, the people that actually know what's going on, they're going to be like, nah, what are you talking about? He don't, he don't run nothing at the state level. What are you talking about? That's that. So she did pretty good. I think that, um, I think that she did good. But I also believe that, and I'll get into Mike, I'm going to get into Mike Pence. But anyway, she did good. Now, as far as Mike Pence go, Mike Pence, Mike Pence looked like he looked presidential up there. I ain't gonna lie to you. He looked like a a a, a different version of. I'm gonna put it to you like this. Mike Pence, if Mike Pence was the president of the United States, he would be a good president because of the way he the way he moved the way he moved. I like I like the fact that Mike Pence. Uh, said a lot of things. And the problem with Mike Pence last night to me is Mike Pence dodged a lot of questions.
but 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 for good reason because see this is the thing about what y'all got to understand about debating right different forms of debating you gotta have a debate style when you're asked a gotcha question you kind of have to kind of have to avoid that because number one you have two different people looking at you right and i'm not making an excuse i'm just telling y'all what it is you have two different people looking at you your base and their base either way you answer that question you're going to offend somebody and nine times out of ten nobody wants to uh, uh, offend their base so what they do they don't want to listen see kamala doesn't care she will offend your base uh, um she does she's not going to offend her base but she will offend your base but see, when you are trying to get reelected, you got to kind of play both sides. So when these when they ask them these questions, the questions are not these. First of all, these questions are too long. They're too long. They're too long. It, it's it's kind of like the question is kind of like. It's it's, it's kind of like a, a it's a hidden message in the question, because either way you answer that, you're going to be wrong. And that's why I said like so. The question that was asked to Mike Pence, I would say wasn't really that fair. Now, it's like you're basically saying to a white man who's been white all his life, uh, why are you systemically racist? How is he going to prove he's not? What is he going to say? Oh, well, uh, he, he said he said Trump has uh, Jewish children or Jewish uh, nieces and nephews that, that can't make him racist or whatever. And then, and I seen somebody say so. And I'm like, this is what I mean. So how can he yet, how can he yet answer that question? You can't answer that question. Like you can't. Even if he said he's not, they're gonna say, well, how's how how is he not? You know what I mean? Like, what are you gonna say? Oh, yeah, he 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 gave a thousand dollars to every black kid in America. Oh, that no, he only did that for votes. Like, either way you answer that question, you're gonna be wrong. So it doesn't even matter. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, why ask those type of questions? The, the, the thing about race should not be asked in a debate, period. None of that shouldn't be brought up in a debate because we live in the United States of America. It should not be the border brought up in a debate. Anything. A question about race only divides the country even more. That's it. Every person in this country that was born here is an American. They're not black. They're not white. They're not Chinese. Maybe that's where their, um, their bloodline comes from. But overall, we all Americans. So if we all Americans, stop calling me an African American. I was born here. I'm an American. I don't call you a European American. I don't call you an Asian American. No, we're all here. So that's what it is. So the ex Mike Pence stuff like that, it's hard for him to answer stuff like that. So of course I can understand. Now, as far as the tax cuts, he got her on that. She really couldn't say anything. You know, she, you could tell that he was very, very prepared. And he knew his, he knew it. He knew it. I think that she really didn't know a lot of the stuff. She just kind of said certain things, like the Middle East things that she was saying. She didn't really know too much. I could tell. But him, he knew. He knew. And, and when he said to her, he said, he had, the reason why he wanted to debate to me, there was two key points he wanted to debate off of. One was with don't play with the American people's lives. That stop playing politics with American people's lives. And the two was uh, Joe Biden said he was going to cut. Uh, he said that out of his own mouth. He was going to cut the chunk tax uh, a bill. He said that out of his own mouth. She really couldn't say anything to that. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think Kamala and, and, uh, and Biden are on the same page. Not at all. I don't think that they really are. I think she has certain things that she has talking points, but I don't think they are. Now, what I think Mike Pence went wrong is when she when they was talking about prison and and uh, uh, black people going to prison, he should have got her got up on her about her record about how she did a lot of things. I think he touched on it a little bit, but he should have got up on her like how he uh, how she did what she did to people in her own state. He should have got up on her because of that. It should have been no rap. She should have, he should have been like, nah, listen, don't talk to me about anything when it comes to uh, uh, criminal justice because you did things that I can, uh, it's unspeakable. You did things, you, you 
wrote laws. You did things that help that help um stop people from getting out of prison. You and your boy wrote a crime bill that actually hurt a whole generation. So don't give me that. That's what he should have did. But I think he lost on that. Like he didn't lose, but he he didn't come across with that message. That's number one. The whole thing about packing the court thing and the whole thing about the black judges thing. I think that Mike Pence should have been a little more aware of what she said. When she said that, he should have definitely said something about Clarence Tyrants. And he should have said something about what Joe Biden did. He should have said that. Because obviously, if you're saying that Judge didn't, uh, 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 what's the name? Uh, uh, the Democrats, I mean, um, a Trump administration didn't appoint no black judges. Well, your dude is a Democrat and he tried to stop a black judge from getting on there. So that could have been argued. And I don't know where she was going with it, with the whole Lincoln thing, which Lincoln was a Republican. I don't understand why she brought that up. I mean, because Lincoln was a Republican. Maybe that's why. But that was kind of retarded. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, this is a great debate. Um, I think that I gave Mike Pence, uh, I gave Mike Pence, uh, I would say Mike Pence won two, three, one, I would say three, one. I think he had three big moments in this debate. And I think she had one big moment. And I like Mike Pence's closing argument. I think that his closing argument was a little better. Um, I think that uh, Mike Pence is a, he's, he, he, Mike Pence is kind of, in a debate, he's kind of hard to beat because he really don't have no dirt. Like, she didn't say not one thing about him. That's how I noticed. She didn't say one thing about Mike Pence. One thing. She didn't say, you supported this or you did that. Not one thing. Another thing, too, that hurt, hurt her, she kept talking about how, what she is. I'm, well, I'm the only one up here and I'm this and I'm that. That's what I'm just saying. And now I see people saying, online or on on uh these new sites oh well um uh, she was a female and 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 females and females uh uh she's going against a man and you gotta understand like no stop it stop it you know what i mean stop it great debate i applaud them i gave the debate to mike pence three one um i think kamala had a big 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 moment i think he had three and i think that for the most part, she didn't say anything about him that, and I, that really was there. I think that she stayed away from Mike Pence's record. So, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.